Yo, what's going on guys? It's King Tuts Pro back with another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. Guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to upload HD videos to Instagram. I get this question asked a lot and um, I didn't, I, I honestly couldn't find a video on YouTube that actually shows you how to upload HD videos to Instagram. So I decided to make a video on my own and explain it to you guys since you guys want to know how to do it. So. Uh, on my phone right now, you guys can see the Instagram app, okay? And there's a bunch of photos, right? And uh, I want to show you guys, and if I go into the search here of what things are trending, um, pretty pretty crazy, I don't know. But um, anyways, there are videos that are in a, what do you call it, a 16 by 9 format, which is pretty nice, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and just, I don't know, push this one. And you can see that this video here is in a 16 by 9 video uh, aspect ratio which is pretty good and it's also in HD. So if I go back and I push play again, you can see there um, how they're just dancing and all, and all that. So I think it's pretty cool. I wanna go and create a new project. So go to file, go to new and go to project. So this is gonna be very important. So please, please uh, get this right um, or you're gonna have issues. So go ahead and create a project name. I'm just gonna name this uh, music. Uh, I, I might, I'm actually just going to name this cover right now. You guys are probably going to have this right here and it says use custom settings. You don't want that. Click on use custom settings and in the video format here right now, it should probably say 720p HD or 1080p. Now, depending on what the video was filmed in, um, you guys should change this once you import your video in the timeline. I'll show you guys that in a little bit. So I want to go ahead and do custom. Okay. And in the resolution, we don't want to export a full 1080p video to Instagram because it will just compress it a lot to get the video in the correct resolution for Instagram and you guys don't want to do it that way. Even if it's a 1280 by 720 video, you guys don't want that. So what I would recommend is go by the resolution which Instagram supports and this is a 16 by 9 aspect ratio which is 640 by 360. Okay, And this is still a uh, 16 by 9 aspect ratio so the proportions will be correct the only thing is the resolution will be a little bit lower but the quality doesn't change which is pretty good um, considering the fact that I've actually done this and I uploaded to Instagram and I tried it out myself and it actually works um, so it's really cool so the rate here uh, pretty much the frame rate you want to change so this really depends on what the video was also filmed in. In this case, I already know that this video was filmed in 23 by 98 frames per second. If you guys filmed it in 29 by 97, do that and 30. Don't go anything past 30 because it will just compress it a lot and or just compress it down to 30 or any of these other ones. So I'm going to do 23 by 98. And then once you guys have checked that, you're going to go into the rendering. Okay. And here you have the Apple ProRes 422, which is pretty much the standard one. Don't select any of the other ones just because it will mess with the uh, export time and the um, file size. So just select Apple ProRes 422. And then the color space. So here you want to do just the standard Rec 709. Uh, the reason we do standard Rec 709 is because most film cameras, DSLRs, film in this uh, color space. So just do that one. So select that. And then the audio, I'm going to do stereo. And then the sample rate. It's going to be 48 just bring that down to 41 kilohertz because it's going to instagram is going to compress it anyway so click ok and you're going to see that nothing has changed okay so that's good so i'm in my in this project here don't uh, just ignore that one for now so i'm gonna go ahead and now drag this video here into the timeline now once i've dragged this in here we don't have to go into the uh, transform option and scale it or anything don't even do that because you don't have to unless your video is a different resolution i would have change that back in when you're creating the projects so once you guys are done with that you're gonna just go ahead and just skim through the video and you can see that everything works fine i'm gonna go ahead and push play to the rescue i'm booking myself a one-way flight so you can see that everything looks correct in terms of the frame rate and the quality so it looks good still um, nothing has been really compressed yet so once we're done with this, what we want to go ahead and do is go ahead and export it. So go to the this button right here on the top right or go to file and go to share and go to um, I would do master file, which is the default one. Um, you guys can get there same place. So go to master file default and a new window is going to come up and you're going to see a preview with some description and a title. OK, you want to look down here, though. So we have the format, which is 640 by 360, which is the resolution we want to export it as. We have it a 23.98 frames per second. 
It's a stereo left and right, 48 kilohertz, and it's an MP4 movie. Now, you guys will probably have an M, uh, MOV, which is a QuickTime movie, and I'll show you guys how to do or how to change that. So go ahead and give it a name. Go to settings, and in the format, you're just going to probably be in the mastering in video and audio. Now, it's going to be a bigger file size, so we don't want to do that. And it's a QuickTime movie, so we don't want that either. So we want to go into the publishing and go to computer, and this will go ahead and export it as a MP4. So once you are done with here, you can see what things are compatible with this format. Um, in this case, we can just ignore that. So we can go into the video codec and go to, we have two options. We have H.264 faster encode and H.264 better quality. Choose better quality because you want the best quality, obviously. Resolution should just be this one. Uh, just don't change it. Color space um, automatically changed it for this. So just keep it how it is. The audio file format is should be a double AC or AAC. And uh, when done, I just choose to do nothing. So now the file size is a lot smaller. Click next, give it a name and where you want to save it. Click save. And then if you click on this button right here, it will show you the background tasks and it'll show you guys how long it takes to export. Honestly, this is very fast since it's a, I don't know, about a three minute video. And it only took about I would say less than 10 seconds to export. So it went ahead and exported. And if we go into the desktop here, we have the video here. So this also gets rid of the black bars, just letting you know. So right click, go to get info. And now you can see it's a 70, it's 71 megabytes. Okay. And now if I go ahead and open this up and I push play, you can see that there's kind of dots here, but on the Instagram app on my phone, you do not see this. Um, I don't know why I don't know what what it's probably like the screen or maybe we just made the file size a lot small But on Instagram the app you can't see this it looks perfectly fine to me. Hey, what's up guys Hunter Hayes here I'm super star So it's probably gonna be like this small when you um, send it to Instagram So the way I like to send files to my iPhone if you guys have a Mac and an iPhone then this is good assuming you guys are running on the latest version um, right click on that file and go to share and then go to airdrop okay this is a, a good way to send videos and photos without compressing the the video or the photo which is nice and it sends it almost instantly so you can see on my phone here it says airdrop I'm gonna click on accept and it'll automatically share it to my phone um, and send it to my camera roll and you can see it opens in the camera roll. So if I click on done and we go onto the Instagram app here and we go onto the plus button here, you can see that if I push play, hey, you can Hunter see Hayes how it here. works. I'm so I'm gonna click on next and you hey, guys can add Hunter filters Hayes if you'd here. like. You, you guys can trim the video. Um, we can select hey, this one. Guy? Maybe we would don't want the beginning of that clip there. We want it to just start. We can do that, click done. And then it will show you guys that as well. So like I said, guys, this looks perfect on my phone. I don't, there's nothing wrong with this. This is the way you export HD videos to Instagram, in my opinion. Click next and just do whatever you want. Of course, I'm not going to upload it because it's not my video. But I hope you guys found this video um, helpful in any way. Be sure to leave a like. That'd be awesome. Turn on the bell notification to receive um, notifications whenever I post videos. Peace out. Take care and enjoy your day.